good morning everybody it's Monday 20th of December in that last mad week everybody experiences before Christmas and this ain't big crime thing seems to be running wild and it'll affect lots of people's Christmas plans and I hope you all get a chance to be together with friends and family so where I am now is a new section of running track well, as you can see that 4.56 into a run and I'm on a new section of track the winds behind the soil conservation service and the back of the jail towards another cemetery it's just shy of half a kilometre in fact I think 490 metres long uh, so hopefully at my present pace it won't take me too long to run it get up the turnaround point come back again and there's another little track along the side of Goulburn North School that I'll film this track here I think was opened earlier this year and it's part of an extension of the river track that is eventually planned to go as I said around the back of the jail and through the land behind there and eventually go out to Joseph's Gate which is an estate out on the Toralga Road just past Braidwood but before we get to Kenmore uh, I believe that's going to be something like two kilometres long and I think it was a grant of about two million dollars from the Commonwealth Government to build it at the moment as I understand from what I read at the time the council is negotiating with the Creative Services Department about where to put the path and there's going to be a crossing over the river so I guess I've got to work out where that is and design and build a bridge where they're going to build it on site or build it elsewhere and in on cranes something I don't know any of that and I suppose they're still working out all the detail of that I would imagine work will start sometime next year hopefully early in the new year just so it can be got gotten on with and done and then it'll be open for use later in the year now we're almost at the end of it that's 5.11 kilometers now directly ahead there is another cemetery I don't know anything about that one uh, I don't know whether people are buried there are ex-prisoners or sorry I say former prisoners who uh, died in the jail or something you know, in the earlier times or as I mentioned before it's a uh, there is an old Jewish oh, there is a Jewish cemetery in Goblin so maybe that's it so if anyone local knows uh, leave a comment in the comments section if you know any more about that cemetery uh, past the turnaround point on the way back this here is called Cemetery Road or Cemetery Street I think I'll be able to see the high wire and towers of the jail on my right now I've just come off the uh, extension that takes you around Fitzroy Flats and under the viaduct in the Sydney Road 
to get to this section. Speaking of the COVID situation, which I wish we weren't, I guess we're all sick of it. And we want life to go back to normal. The testing facility in Seaford Oval behind the grandstand. It was very, very busy yesterday. A long line of cars stretching around the Oval towards the entrance in Faithful Street of people wanting to get tested. Now I can only assume that a lot of those people were going on holidays to Queensland or hoping to get to Queensland and needing a negative test before they could get into Queensland. <laughs> so, although lots of restrictions have eased in New South Wales and there are no restrictions travelling into Victoria, Queensland not so easy, South Australia, Western Australia, Northern Territory also not so easy, and Tasmania depends on where you've come from, which state and how long you've been there and so on so 5.61 if you can see that so I think that section is about a kilometre and now I'm just going up Cemetery Street here because there's a smaller section, another section along the side of Goulburn North School but isn't necessarily part of the running tracks and all this it's a good section to run on it. Hey mate. It might only be 200 meters. This section I'm going to show you. Maybe not even that. That part we just I just came off. The council paid for that themselves. I don't know what 500 metres of concrete cost, plus labour and so on. Earthworks, everything to get ready for it. But, so some of your rate dollars go. And the far end of Colwyn North Public School on the right hand side here. I don't know what this street's called here. I should say it's getting on for about seven o'clock in the morning. Left my place about. 20 past 6, 25 past 6, uh, getting on for 7. Uh, here's this new section, which I think was also paid for by the council. 5.95 here, just so we can get the length, I'll tell you again at the end. Nice and flat. Used to be all just grass and dirt and stuff. Very squishy when it was wet. So the concrete's an improvement, at least in those terms. School holidays have started, of course. All the kids are happy about. Unfortunately, I think the teachers go to school today. They went Friday, they go today, and they might go again tomorrow for uh, professional learning days, I think they call them. Okay, almost at the end, this is Union Street at the traffic lights in Sydney Road. Uh, 6.14. Thank you for watching.